This module focuses on plant maintenance. There are three types of maintenance to be considered, predictive, preventive and corrective. Predictive maintenance is only relevant to solar plants with sun tracking systems. It's maintenance designed to improve future plant performance based on predictions of potential malfunctions. For example, a sun tracker with a predicted life of 10 years might be replaced in its ninth year to guarantee a complete plant lifetime without incident. Preventive maintenance attempts to set up periodical pathways of actions to prevent incidents that might happen in the future, while corrective maintenance on the other hand is concerned with the correction of incidents that have already occurred. When signing up to maintenance protocols, you need to understand the relevant national legislation. In some countries, the government sets requirements for the types of maintenance work that must be done. If so, you must integrate the relevant legislation into the plant's maintenance programme. If on the other hand there's no legislation affecting solar facilities, you must ensure you have your own policies in place to programme maintenance tasks. Beyond legislative requirements, there are many plant maintenance options. Key issues include who should be responsible for maintenance, the system installer, is it better handled in-house or should responsibility be outsourced? Next, what is the role of plant staff? Should their presence be continuous or intermittent? Or should they only visit the site when an incident occurs? The control and supervision system is very important to maintenance. Maintenance should be considered at the design stage. What are the implications of maintenance if the installed monitoring system is advanced or a less more basic system? What are the implications if only the inverter is monitored? The surveillance system also has implications for maintenance. Surveillance staff on site may be able to perform maintenance work, for instance. From a surveillance point of view, on-site personnel as well as a remote surveillance system is recommended. An effective maintenance policy should answer the questions who, how and with which tools. The answers will probably vary according to the size of the solar plant. Here we have a table with different plant size options for ground facilities, depending on whether the sun trackers are used. Sun trackers need more maintenance than fixed systems. Sun tracker maintenance affects manpower needs and therefore operational costs. A plant of one to two megawatts needs one person full time in an advanced monitoring system if sun trackers are used. Without sun trackers, the same size plant need only have one person part time. The areas of greatest cost in maintenance is personnel. Where large numbers of staff are needed, the cost can be considerable. A maintenance policy should aim for a response to incidents that is as quick as possible, as well as seeking to minimise the number of incidents. To achieve this, those responsible for maintenance must be capable of acting independently. They must be very well trained in both functional tasks and at a documentary level. At a functional level, those responsible for maintenance may need skills to manage the maintenance of several plants while acting alone. At a documentary level, he or she will need the skills to create and update maintenance and incident records. Stock management is another important area affecting maintenance. Poor management of spare parts can lead to a complete stop of a plant for days. So it's essential to have an updated list of all the spare parts available for the plant and to ensure the stock matches the potential need. Effective surveillance can perform a key role in maintenance performance and a well implemented monitoring system can have a great influence on protective maintenance as it can help us detect any problems before serious breakdown. And a maintenance policy is only sustainable if other issues such as insurance, land, rental, utilities and services and taxes have been adequately catered for. For insurance, the effects of meteorological conditions are a major concern. There also needs to be clarity and rights and responsibilities uh, on the land, on leases and lease terms and the costs of landscaping. For utilities and services, 
There needs to be clarity and responsibilities for water, light, the internet and so on, as well as clarity and responsibilities for the payment of all taxes. These questions vary in different countries, so they're not dealt with here. As a rough guide, the annual maintenance and operational costs will consume around 1% of total revenues at solar plants without solar trackers. That rises to 1.3% for plants with solar trackers. For solar roofs, ma annual maintenance costs will be around 0.7% of revenues. These calculations do not take account of the cost of physical surveillance. They assume a cost per hour for a guard from an outsourced company to be around one euro per hour. Well, that was the figure that's drawn from Spain costs in 2010. 